Hello everyone and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. Today is Tuesday, May the 14th of 2024 and we've got your daily reading for you guys here. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you and let's have a look and see what we've got coming out for you today. We are starting out with Uriel and the Sphinx. Hmm. All right. So you could be finding some answers for yourself today. Seek and ye shall find. You may also get, oh, love it. The back, back of the deck, we have the lightning bolt. All right. The lightning bolt can be a massive epiphany, a big burst of clarity, um, something that spurs you into action, right? It's the electrifying kind of energy there with that. So you could be stumbling across some information today that can really get the ball rolling, moving and shaking for you. Perhaps you do have this epiphany, you see your future clearly, or you're like, oh my God, this got to go, right? This got to go. Uh, this not working for me anymore. And I've been confused. I've been procrastinating. I've been uncertain for the last little while. And now I know for sure, right? So it can be this really big burst of clarity. It can also be for something positive, right? Now I know what I want and I'm confident that I'm going to go get it. But that lightning bolt is like this big bolt of electricity, this big shock to your system. But it's something that gets your energy going. It gets you flowing, right? And it gets you, spurs you into taking some initiative. And it really is a message of seek and ye shall find because Uriel and the Sphinx is an invitation to dig deep. So in your day to day, there may be something that you're doing or something that you're looking for that's not going to be right in front of your nose and it's not going to be right on the surface of something. So whether it's something within you, something in, at, in your work day, something at home, something with a relationship, something here requires a little bit more investigation, a little bit of digging, just like the sphinxes, right? The sphinx had to be dug out of the desert, right? And it's like the more you dig, the more you find. So this can be a journey of personal discovery today. This can be something where you're trying to unravel some sort of mystery or issue in your workplace and you got to dig, right? The more you dig, the more issues you find and you're like, oh my goodness, does this never end? But you will find the answers that you're looking for. You're being very guided by Archangel Uriel. So this is discovering some truth. Um, this is discovering the root cause of an issue. And this is really aligning you to deal with it, to get things back under control, to get things um, back in alignment or to help you make some important decisions for yourself. So work with Archangel Uriel today. Um, you could just be discovering something that you really need to know. We have the birth card coming here, and this is card number four. Now, this is the Akashic Tarot, so you probably, it's a little bit different than what you're used to looking at. But the birth card, the birth of something new, feeling reborn, feeling rejuvenated, um, uh, getting in, co in connection with your inner child, right? So maybe today you're going to have like have some fun. Um, it's a lighthearted energy, but this is about fertility and creativity and growth. So this can be really wonderful. I mean, if you're looking for something, you might find the answers that you're looking for. And this is like, oh, hallelujah. Now we can, uh, you know, kind of take the pressure off here a little bit and have a little bit of fun. The birth card can represent the birth of new ideas, those clarity moments, those epiphany moments for us as well. This is card number four, bringing us a little bit stability and security. And this is bringing us an opportunity to, um, you know, either focus on our family, to engage with our inner child, be a little bit more lighthearted about things, right? Um, some of you could have a blessing with your children today. Right. And so this is where, you know, you might um, be uh, really focused on resolving issues in your workplace. And then you get home and your blessing of the day is spending time with your children and doing something fun with them. Um, this can also represent that perhaps some of you are having a very important um, personal conversation Just to go a little bit deeper with this one. This is a big energy there, so we can't ignore it. 
Um, but this can be where you're having a very deep personal conversation with someone. You could actually get a bit of a surprise. Something hidden may come to light. So this can be where someone has like some sort of announcement. It might be you. It might be someone else. Maybe there is a birth announcement or a pregnancy announcement somewhere. Someone can be announcing a new project, the birth of new ideas. You could be partnering up with people whose present company that you enjoy with this energy and you are put in charge of creating a project or, you know, getting something off the ground. But you could also, yes, be talking about um, with a partner about starting a family or adding to your family. If you are single, the universe may have a little bit of a surprise in store for you. And this can be the birth of a new relationship. So you might meet someone new um, in this energy in the next couple weeks as we start heading into this full moon in Sagittarius. We do have Venus uh, still in the sign of Taurus as we do this reading right now and can bring you love and romance and fun and fertility and creativity and children and all this kind of stuff. So this can be all kinds of new kind of things, right? And, but this is enjoyable things. This is really quite wonderful. Birth can also represent new information. So if you're digging deep for something, you're trying to resolve some things today, you might just find the information that you were looking for. And this either enables you to go in a different direction, a new direction, or you are like, oh my goodness, now I know how to get this done. And you just need to do something a little bit differently. But the blessing is in figuring it out. We have the King of Roses coming in here, and this is very similar to the King of Cups, okay? And this can, well, maybe you've got a big creative block, all right, because this is in your challenge position. So the King of Roses, as your energy, as your challenge energy, can represent a creative block. It can represent being in a bad mood. It can represent not feeling confident, or it can represent the fact that you're maybe kind of feeling, um, not feeling all the best today, or there's something that you've got to resolve before you can kind of be happy, right? So, you know, this can be about that digging deep energy, but it can be a lack of confidence. It can actually also be a little bit of melancholy that can creep in for you guys today as well. So just be a little aware of that. Um, it's not a challenge that's insurmountable. We can get over this, we can overcome it and uh, turn the page, right? We've got a burst of new energy coming in there. Um, but it can be that, you know, maybe you want to go and have fun, but you got to like do a little digging first. You got to resolve some issues first and then you can have some fun. But the King of Roses can also represent, um, especially, you know, especially if you're single or maybe even if you're partnered up with somebody, is some challenges in love and romance or doing the things that you love to do. And of course, Sometimes our um, responsibilities and obligations get in the way of having fun and doing what we want to do. Um, sometimes if we're on the quest for love, sometimes it can be a little bit elusive. So that can be a little challenge there. Maybe you're just kind of through something's going on today and you just kind of feel that little bit of melancholy, especially if you're single right? You're single, maybe you're looking for love, maybe you're not really looking, but you're kind of open to it. And then maybe someone around you has like this announcement of some kind. And now you're like, oh, man, I kind of wish that was me. So that can be sometimes a little bit challenging to get over. But you know, but I feel like here in this energy, it's not uh, not impossible to turn around and be happy for somebody um, and uh, express your good wishes right for them. But yes, I do feel that here in this energy, you might have a little hiccup in some sort of relationship today. Okay, so just be aware of that. But I also feel like here, if you talk about things, and if you get to the heart of the matter, you're honest and truthful, you're real in the Sphinx, then you can turn things around for the better, you can deal with your issues, you can resolve things, and then you can um, move on with your day. But I do feel that there's maybe some creative rather than logical approach that you may need to take at something okay, um, in your day. And maybe you're trying to find like new sources of inspiration or you're trying to get a little bit creative to uh, get things done or get something off the ground. If you do get put in charge of a new project or something in your workplace, this can represent that maybe 
you're really good at maybe the business side of things, the logical side of things and whatever, but maybe you're not so good at like the really creative kind of stuff. So maybe you're looking for someone that can kind of help you out a little bit, you can partner up with and they can, you know, kind of like spice things up for you a little bit there. So um, whatever it happens to be, this King of Roses can be a person that gives you a little bit of grief today or that you have to deal with a little bit of challenge that you have to work through. But again, not impossible. And this can also be something within you. It's just maybe just your day starts off with a little bit of ugh to your day, right? Just a little bit of, oh man, I don't want to deal with this thing today. I just don't have the energy, right? But keep moving forward, okay? And you'll get things done. We have the sands of time with the six of scrolls. So this is your advice from spirit. So there's some information that may be coming your way today, or you have an ability here, an opportunity to discover some information, anything on a scroll represent some manuscript, something written down, some information, instruction manuals, that kind of thing. And so you could potentially be discovering something or perhaps you're writing something down today and you need to have a look at some manuscripts, at some information, at some contracts, at some documents, right? Boring, but maybe you need to do that to make some decisions or to resolve something that's kind of, you know, giving you a little bit of a hiccup in your day. There's a timing element involved here as well. So something is like a deadline, right? So you might need to um, get a little bit of help to reach a deadline. You might feel that you need to get some information um, before you can finish something up to meet your deadline, right? You're looking for that key piece of information or you're looking to double checking someone's work or your work and trying to figure out what the hell is wrong and why these, why one plus one is somehow equaling 18, right? It's not going to work for you today. So you got to do a little bit of digging there. But with the sands of time, um, you know, your advice from spirit here is to know that, yes, sometimes we need to take our time at something and not rush through things, but other things are time sensitive. So prioritizing your time, managing your time is probably going to be very important for you, not just for today, but also through your week. Remember that create uh, creating something or making change or you know, whatever it is that you're doing, not everything is instantaneous. Sometimes we do need to be patient, but sometimes we need to kick ourselves into high gear. So be a little discerning with your time. Also remember that time is irreplaceable. So don't waste any time today. Okay. Um, you know, don't procrastinate today because this King of Roses can be a little bit of procrastination right there in your challenge. Okay, the sooner you get some things done, the sooner you can have some fun. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please do like, share, subscribe. Sharing is caring. The more people share or interact with the video, the more it gets seen. But if you hit like on that video, it lets me know you re uh, resonate with the reading. It lets YouTube know the same thing. So it shows it to more people. So I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Um, free for you takes one second. Um, but also check out your weekly readings. They're up for you. So your look ahead for your week. And also your full moon in Sagittarius reading is posted for you. Um, and that is coming up um, in about nine, 10 days on the 23rd. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.